Hey guys, here to do another uh, quick uh, firearm review. Uh, first off, let me say this isn't a defensive firearm. Um, it's not really intended for self-defense reasons, but you could use use any firearm for that. So let's get started. Um, this right here is the um, High Hunters Frontier Six Shooter. Um, it says High Hunters Company. Um, for my knowledge, uh, they're no longer around. Uh, I think we I looked at the serial number on this one, and this one was made in uh, 1958, pretty sure. Um, but it says they're based out of Hollywood, California, but it says made in um, West Germany. So I think that's pretty cool, made in West Germany. I don't know, something different. Um, it shoots uh, 22 LR, which is great for plinking. It's a great overall. It's a great gun just to uh, take out to the desert, uh, plink some cans, go to the shooting range. You can shoot this gun all day for like two bucks. Um, just to go over, it's a single action only, meaning um, if uh, if you, oh, let me safety check it first. It's not in there. All right, single action only means if you're unfamiliar, um, unlike most revolvers, Ruger and Smith Wessons and the newer revolvers, you pull a trigger doesn't activate the hammer right here. You have to cock the hammer every time for the gun to fire. So, then you're good to go. Um, it's not suggested that you dry fire uh, these uh, rim fire single actions. You could do that for the center fire. Like let's say you had a Super Black Hawk or a Black Hawk and 357 or 44 mag. You could absolutely dry fire those. But it's not suggested that you dry fire the rim fire, which 22LR is rim fire. Um, the reason I bought this was um, I actually really wanted a Ruger single six. I love Rugers. Um, one thing I didn't love about the Ruger single six, um, that price tag. Um, I was looking and the cheapest one I found, even used, was over $300. And I'm sorry, for a 22 single action pistol, I feel like it's a little too much money because I could go and buy a Ruger Blackhawk, which in my opinion is... It's just a more fun gun to shoot, and you can actually use it for hunting, which I guess you could use this for rabbits. Um, I plan to actually take this out in the desert and uh, pick off a few jackrabbits with it. I think that might be pretty fun. Um, make sure you have a hunting license, though. Um, so just that price tag just kind of blew, me, blew my mind. So I would much rather get a 357 uh, Super uh, Red Hawk, Black Hawk or a 44 Mag Super Black Hawk than spend uh, the $350 on a 22 LR. Revolver. Um, I found this online. It was used uh, private sale in Arizona. Paid about $150 for it, but I've already put close to a thousand rounds through it. I um, haven't really had any problems. There was one problem probably about a week week or two ago. Um, the hammer, when you cock it back, it was, it was sticking, it was jamming. It wouldn't rotate the cylinder. Um, experienced this at the shooting range, took it to the gunsmith. The gunsmith, um, he just took the cylinder out. And um, he said, well, it seems to be sticking a little bit. How much money do you want to put into it? I was like, I only spent $150. I'm not trying to put a lot of money into this gun. And he said, well, son, my advice for you is just pull the uh, pull the hammer harder. I was like, okay. Did that. Piece of cake. Um, these guns are very fun to shoot. Um, another great thing, um, it's good for teaching new people how to shoot. Um, my fiance, this is actually her favorite gun to shoot. She loves this gun. Um... And I plan to teach uh, one of my small cousins who's 10 years old. It's going to be the first gun to shoot, too. It's nice because when you when you uh, show someone how to shoot, um, teach them four rules of firearm safety, obviously. But also, they can't have really any accidental discharges because if they're going to keep their finger on the trigger, it's not going to fire because you have to pull the hammer back. So every time they have to think about it, pull the hammer back, then fire. Um, just a few facts about this gun. Um, I haven't weighed it, if I had to guess say uh, about 36 ounces um, the barrel is five and a half the sights I don't know if you've ever seen the sights on a single action only like Western style um, they're not as good as a double action it takes some time to get used to it when you when you fire it you really have to tip it down to get this front sight lined up with this uh, back sight and you really have to bury that front sight um, for those of you who never seen one don't know how to load it um, what you have to do is you have to do what's called half cocking the hammer should be half cock right there and then there's this little gate right here open that up 
and then you can rotate the cylinder to load it. To unload it, this is your ejector right here. You can watch it poke through. There it is, poking through. And then you just rotate, poke through, rotate, poke through until you empty. And when you first do it, it takes a while. Um, once you're used to it, you can pop them out and load it really fast. Um, but like I said, it's the High Hunters uh, Frontier 6 shooter. Uh, shoots 22 LR. It does not come with the 22 Magnum uh, cylinder like some of the Security 6 or the Heritage Arms. I wanted something a little different. Looks pretty cool. Has these fake stag grips on it. Um, they look good. I've seen maybe switching them out. But like I said, I'm not trying to put a lot of money in this gun. It's just a fun gun. Take out plinking, maybe take out rabbit hunting. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. It's kind of hard to find YouTube videos on this particular model, High Hunters, because they no longer exist. But if you guys have any questions, um, just let me know. All right. And if you have any questions about how to take out the cylinder and stuff, it takes out pretty much like any other single action. Um, half cock, loading gate down. On this side, this pin right here, you have to push that in and you slide this out as you push this in and that's all it is to it but make sure you have the hammer half cocked and the loading gate down some of the newer Rugers you don't have to have that um, in all the new models but in the old models you will alright thanks a lot for watching see you guys later